It is October. Middle of October, almost end of October, and the season is winding down. I know, it's it's almost over. It's almost over, and we are not going to be here for the winter, so it's kind of bittersweet. So we've got this home in the Bay Area and we are planning on going back to it for the winter months. We have the sh shipping containers up here. We were living off grid and part of living off grid, we had no heat. Yeah, no heat and we are feeling it right now because <laughs> it is cold in the mornings. It's for California at least, it's it's 40 in the mornings and it's only going to get lower as we creep closer to winter. And we, yeah, this was just a temporary living solution that we took advantage of. So we don't have heat. Yeah, so our plan was earlier this year we both left our jobs, we moved out of the city, we moved out to the country and we started a farm mm -hmm. and the farm was kind of a test trial we had only done small-scale farming meaning like a garden in our front yard mm -hmm. and had never really done anything to this scale and we decided that we were just kind of over the life we had in the city and wanted to try something new and without medical medium and all of his information I don't think we would have done it and I don't think we'd be where we are today. Yeah this definitely led us in that direction. But yeah we took advantage of this land that our family had because why not to test out this beautiful new lifestyle and the shipping containers were here so we said that's where we're living. We'll do it. We'll do it. <laughs> Whatever it takes, right? So we jumped in and it's been a really great experience. Yeah. So today what we wanted to do was kind of just walk you around the farm and just show you where everything's at. Do a little farm update. This is probably the last farm update you'll get this season. Yes. So. Yes. Things are, some things are starting to die off, but we'll give you a little tour and show you where things are at. Yeah, it was, what, 35 degrees this morning? Probably colder than that. I blocked it out of my memory. <laughs> <laughs> 75-ish in here. It's probably 50, high 50s outside right now. Anyways, so if you guys remember from our last video where we showed you the greenhouse, we have tomatoes over here and these hit the ceiling um, and we still have tomatoes on them but the season is coming to an end so a lot of they haven't turned red in quite a while so these are pretty much done um, over here is where all of our cucumbers are this produced pretty well but it's definitely slowing down we're still getting some little cucumbers that are coming in that we um, put on our salads but we kind of stopped selling these at market just because it's not producing so in the third bed these are also cherry tomatoes um, these have produced a good amount still coming in they're still turning color which is great um, and these got super tall I mean these are like taller than those over there because they're at like the pitch of the greenhouse a peak um, of it, yeah. So that was pretty cool to watch. Um, and then on the other side of this was our pepper bed. So these are the pepper plants behind me. You can see they're starting to die off and turn yellow. And then in the very back, you'll see that it is empty. And that is where we had a lot of our shelving units where we would put all of our plant starts. We have taken those down today and put them that put them in our storage unit up here yeah and so what we're doing is we are taking this greenhouse down unfortunately i know we <laughs> it took us a whole month to it put it up it was quite the task to put up well we didn't know what we were doing either 
And I got an injured thumb out of it too. Yep. So yeah, we got to take down the greenhouse, which sucks. Because what the plan is, is we're going to go back to the Bay Area and then come back up here in March. So when we come back up in March, we're going to have to re-put up this greenhouse. So what now that it's down? How are we going to start any seeds? Uh, we're not going to be here for the winter. We're not? Don't play the dumb card. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and... The property is kind of, you know, it's off in a remote location, so it's not like we have any neighbors that can, like, look over things for us. So we're just taking all precautions. We don't want someone to, like, wander on the property and mess with it. Plus, it's going to rain a bunch, so the weather would also kind of wear and tear it. Yeah. And then we're kind of winding down. We're not starting any more seeds. We started a bunch of seeds to kind of overwinter. So which crops are we going to overwinter? We are going to do garlic, onions, leeks. What else are we doing? I forget. Come on, you know this one. Carrots. Carrots. Parsnips. And then what are we, what do we juice every morning? Celery. We're going to try <laughs> overwintering some celery. <laughs> Because it took, celery, the yeah. celery took us a hundred and like sixty days to get to maturity. Yeah. Everything moves so slow up here. It but, was really slow. But, but we've been able to take it to market the last couple markets, right? Yeah. And it's been a hit. People seem to love it. So. Yeah, it's been great. And we get to talk about it. We love talking about <laughs> celery. So <laughs> just adds more excitement to of being at the farmer's market when you get to sell something that you love. And then did I miss anything else? Uh, what's up with the microgreens? We got microgreens still? Yeah, well, the, not the, yeah, we still have peas coming along, and I think I saw some sunflowers, yeah, down here. And it looks like you have, what is that, fenugreek over here? Fenugreek, and I think we got a little basil left. Yeah, so we have two markets left. Our one Wednesday and one Saturday market. <clears throat> so what we've been doing is just kind of harvesting anything and everything that's ready to go and bringing it and selling it. That way we're kind of using up everything as we can. And then we recently started selling um, some of our greens to the local health food grocery store. Um, so we'll be bringing them some more goodies before we leave and then we'll just we'll also harvest a bunch right before we leave and take that home with us yeah so <clears throat> it's been kind of a, a lot of planning going into finishing up for the season here behind us here you've got all the garden beds and they're all in full production mode right now we yeah. spent the whole year building more beds getting more crops in, really uh, building a, a farm for what people wanted at market. You know, in the beginning we were selling a lot of greens and hoping that people would be into the salad mixes that we were doing and they were but you know over time we started doing less and less salad mixes and more and more of the things that people were buying at yeah, market. We provided a lot more variety which was great. So we, Hold on. <laughs> our helpers are here, <laughs> the workforce is here. Our storage unit drop-off crew. So we hired this crew to help us move and the crew is just getting back from their first load. Oh, there's, medicine there's man? the muscle. They call him the medicine man. And here comes the medicine man's woman. Me medicine man's <laughs> woman here. <laughs> This is my mom. She's also up here helping out. So lots to still do before we take off, right? Yes. Once we're done with each and every crop, we'll need to take them out of the ground, plant any winter crops, and put some leaves down so there's mulch on top of the beds. Unfortunately, there's a lot of things that haven't turned to the proper color, right? like the tomatoes. 
a lot of tomatoes still left on the vine. Yeah, they, I mean, they produced a lot, but they didn't start producing ripe tomatoes until mid-September. They're supposed to in August up here. But there's still a lot of green ones left, and sadly, they just didn't quite make it. So we'll probably get, you know, a few more batches, but not all of the green ones will make it. Yeah, so we're harvesting everything we can. We're harvesting a lot of herbs right now, and we're making... Drying out herbs. Yep, so yeah. Ashley's been making teas with the herbs. We've been harvesting a lot of the... Cooking uh, herbs. The cooking herbs and, and drying that out for, for the spices. winter season, yeah. making spices, and, you know, just harvesting every little thing we we can before the rain start coming and wiping everything out yeah and that should be happening any any time now yeah in I the think next we have, couple of weeks yeah another five days or so before the rain starts so we're going to try to get out of here in the next couple of weeks and get back into the bay area and once we get back into the to the bay we're going to um plan on doing a couple things right we're going to try to go to some farmers markets there and sell our microgreens because we're we can still do a lot of microgreens mm -hmm. we still got a lot of shelving so we're going to bring that do some microgreens under light yeah do some transplants do s sell transplants nursery start nursery starts so we're going to start doing some nursery starts and then I've been making some tea blends and elderberry syrup kits that we will also sell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we'll sell those online too. So you can message you guys us. can also partake in that if you'd like. Yeah. So just how, how should they contact you if they're interested in? Right now, eventually I'll get it up on our website, rootlife.com. But right now it's not up yet. You can message me on Instagram. Message me on Instagram, or if you don't even have Instagram, you can email us through our website. Or hit us up on YouTube. Or, yeah, you can put a comment on this video and let us know. So a couple ways you can get in touch with us if you're interested. The tea blends are detox teas. So right now we have the medical medium tea blend that helps detox pesticides. And then the other one that helps detox plastics in our body because we our bodies just collect these things without even knowing because there's so much plastic that's used these days and pesticides from old you know when you eat conventional fruit and vegetables um, and even just inherited in stuff. the environment as well yeah. so helps detox it and then elderberry syrup is really great for your immune system it's tasty Yes, super tasty. And uh, so it's a kit that you get to make it at home, and you get about 16 ounces of it. And uh, it's great to take daily for immune system support, and then you can take it more when you are sick. Yeah, super potent. She makes it extra, it's extra strong. Potent. It's based off of the medical medium recipe with a few additional added spices. Yeah. Cool. So let's walk over, let's keep walking here. Okay. So you can see these beds, what we're gonna do with them is we're gonna harvest, then we're gonna throw leaves down. So we're gonna do some lasagna gardening. And what that is, is essentially you're, you're composting the beds with natural things around you. So that right now in the forest, all the leaves are falling off of the trees. So we're gonna go collect all those leaves we're going to bring them out to the beds and just cover the beds with these leaves. And next March, when we come back out here, those leaves will hopefully be broken down and it will turn into soil. We're hoping that that will help as well with weed suppression. So when we come back, we don't have to pick as many weeds. But why don't we flip this cover and show them we've got how big the Our winter squash the winter squash that is are done. finally coming in <laughs> so i don't remember if you saw the previous video but we had done this square of winter squash and there it is behind us so it got decently big we've well, we've harvested about six off here but you know very big ones There's not some big ones right now not little ones so yeah. 
we're just kind of letting them letting them go for the season and then we're going to harvest them and take them all back with us winter squash are kind of like our our go-to starchy thing during the winter months yeah they'll last all winter so hence the name and yeah we'll make a lot of squash but they've pretty much taken over this little area which is great and you know we're doing the winter yeah. squash right now we've everything else is kind of coming to an end right and then yeah some of the beds didn't produce as much and then we've got a little bed over there that produced a good amount of delicata which is one of our favorites oh, yeah. that's a good one yeah really good roasted I think we've kind of told them this is our plan for the winter. Yeah, I think we gave you guys the rundown, what our plan is, and kind of how things are wrapping up. But, yeah, I think it's safe to say that we enjoyed our season, and we learned a lot, and we're excited to do it again with all the things that we learned, knowing that we can do it so much better than we did it this year. Oh, totally. Like, we... <laughs> We didn't quite figure out the irrigation like we wish we would have. Mm -mm. And we're going to come back with a better plan for that next year. Yeah. We had finished with, what, like 19, 20 beds, I guess like 19 and a half beds. Mm -hmm. And so next year we're going to come back and build more beds. We harvested some wild... Definitely need irrigation with <laughs> yeah. adding more beds. Yeah. <laughs> thing we did at the end of the year here at the end of October we ended up going out and doing some wild mushroom harvesting. We did which was pretty cool. We ate a good amount of it and then we sold it at a market which was great. It sold like within the first 50 minutes of the market. It was kind of crazy. There, sold out. There's yeah. no one really doing mushroom harvesting by us so I've got these mushroom plugs and I'm going to put them in some some logs that have fallen down before I leave and then when we come back in the spring I'm hoping that we'll have some more mushrooms that we can take to market mm -hmm. and the ones we were taking to market were wild chanterelles yeah. which we had a, a mushroom expert come in and show us and take me mushroom hunting and we just learned how to pick them continued to pick them after he <laughs> left <laughs> So we've met a lot of cool friends, met a lot of great people along other farmers. The journey, mm -hmm. some farmers we're we're getting pretty close with and made some great connections in town, was selling our produce to a restaurant. Now we're we're in a grocery store and the, the our name is is slowly being um, s spread around town and people are starting to recognize us and see us at market every week mm -hmm. and it's we've cool. we've really made a name for ourselves this this summer. And yeah. I think next year people are going to see us back and see more things, and uh, we're excited to build more beds and uh, bring more things to market for people to try, and then get to explain all this wonderful medical medium information to people. It's been a great summer. We've been able to even help some people at market and teach them some of the medical medium ways and hopes that they'll correct some of the symptoms and conditions that they're dealing with. You know we always had a garden but that had what like two big beds so we could only grow so much but here we grew so much food so we provided a lot of food for ourselves and that is really healing because when you grow your food it adapts to your body and what your body needs for healing so we've had a lot of healing this summer um, so we encourage you guys to start your own garden if you can or even just grow sprouts on your windowsill because that is going to be so great for your health cool i think that's it that's you know it. we're excited that you guys have been able to spend the summer up here with us and <laughs> we've been able to share some of the the fun times we've had up here and uh, next year will be even funner so yeah and we'll still be around we'll still be doing videos while we're back home totally. so so you'll don't see don't worry and you'll get garden videos you'll get you know medical medium videos we're you know we won't All be stopping that you know so 
Well, thanks so much for joining us, you guys. We hope you liked this video. Please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you aren't already and hit that little bell. That way you get notified every time we post a new video. Yeah, and if you're, if you're into some of the stuff that we're doing up here and there's some videos that you might want to see while we're back, you know, in the Bay Area, let us know. Yeah, you know, we, comment below. We love hearing from you guys and we want to share information that you're gonna, that's going to help you and that you're going to benefit from. So yeah. let us know if there's any videos you want to see and, and we'll try to do them for you. Yeah, and check us out on Instagram because we're active on there and you can see more in our daily lives and more posts and things like that on there too. Totally. Okay. So, see you guys later. See ya. Bye.